Yo, it's your boy Shadow back again, and in this video we're going to have a look at the latest firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, this firmware is, is supposed to bring a lot of bug fixes and stability to the phone. Um, I just want to say a special thanks to Samsung um, for pushing out these constant updates to keep our S3s updated. So anyway, the first thing I've noticed with this update is when I pull down the notifications, we get this shortcut toggle going across the top here, so we can either select auto for the brightness, or we can either move the slide up or down to change the brightness to however we want it. Another thing is when I hold down the power button, we now get these three little icons down here at the bottom. Um, I think it's for the volume, so we can either put it on silent, I think that's for vibrate, I'm not too sure. Also, on the AccuWeather widget here, we now get this little clock, which wasn't there before. Um, when I go into settings, the kernel's being updated. So this is the kernel version. And also the baseband's been updated as well. So it's now i9 300 XL FB. And another thing I've noticed is on the widgets we've got a f we've got a couple new widgets. We've got this new digital clock. I think this clock's new. I'm not too sure. Um, we've got a dual analog clock and a dual digital clock. So yeah, that's about it for the video. Um, you can either check for this update manually by going to settings, about device, and software update. If it's not showing up, you can also download it from keys. Um, it's normally quicker to do it that way. So um, yeah, that's about it for the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also. Drop a comment in the section down below um, if you've got any questions and see you in the next video. I'm out.